Morning boys and girls, morning parents, I hope you're doing well. Um, welcome to your Wednesday maths lesson. Now I thought we would start by getting our brains going by playing another game of find the number. So we played this on Monday and we're going to use our 10 town numbers and I'm going to hide a number in the pile and I want you to try and find that special number and if you find it, can you remember what you could do? You can point or you can shout, there it is. So the special number we're looking for today is this number here. Who can tell me what this number is? It is number three. It's Thelma three. There she is with her three jam tarts. Super. So if you see Thelma, I want you to either point or I want you to shout, there she is, and see if you can find her quicker than your mums or dads. Are you ready? Shall we see what number we have first? This number is number one. Zero, two, five. There she is, Thelma three. Well done if you spotted her. Super. I'm going to hide her back in my pile again. See if we can go a little bit quicker. <clears throat> see if you can find her this time. We have number four, one, three. Well done if you spotted her. That was quick. Fantastic. Now we'll have one more go. I'm going to go even quicker. Are we ready? Four, one, zero, two, five, three. There she is. She was right at the end. Well done if you found her. Super. Keep practicing your numbers, zero to five, and even further, if you think you can, be amazing. Now, yesterday, we looked at sorting 3D shapes, and on Monday, we looked at sorting characters into different categories, and you helped me do that. And today, we're going to carry on doing lots of sorting. This time, though, I need you to go and find some things for me. So what I would like you to do is, in a moment, you can pause this video and you can go out into your garden or somewhere around your house and see if you can find any natural materials. So I've been out in my garden this morning and Mr Trigg went to the park for me and we have found lots of different things that we could use. So we found sticks, we found little acorns, we found some flowers, we found some different leaves and we found some spiky conkers. So I'd like you to try and find as many different things as you can. You can find stones, pine cones, bits of grass, anything that you've got to help you with your maths this morning. So I'll let you go and do that now. OK, so you should have now all your lovely natural resources ready to do some sorting. So what I thought we could do is you can help me sort mine and then you can have a go at sorting yours into the different groups. So the first group I thought we would look at sorting them into is into rough and smooth. Does anybody think they know? They can tell their parents what rough or smooth might mean. Well, smooth is when something feels very flat. It's very smooth, like this piece of paper where there's no bumps on it and it's lovely and flat and smooth. Rough is where something is very bumpy. It means your finger moves up and down on it. It's not nice and flat. It's rough. It has rough edges. Very bumpy. So let's see if we can sort our natural resources. I'm going to put rough this side and I'm going to put smooth this side. And we'll see at the end how many we've got in each group. So can you help me first? Then you can have a go at doing yours. So the first thing I've got is my stick. What do we think? I'm going to run my finger on it and see if it's rough or smooth. Oh, now my finger is moving up and down on it. So I think my stick is rough. It needs to go to my rough side, so I'm going to put that there. What do we think about one of my acorns? Can you see? If I run my finger around it, what do we think? Do we think it's rough or smooth? It's very smooth, it's very flat, there's nothing bumpy on it. So I'm going to put it in my smooth side. Let's have a look at one of my leaves. If I run my finger along my leaf, 
it's a little bit bumpy. Oh, this side definitely feels a lot smoother. So I think it needs to go into my smooth group. Let's have a look at my flowers. Let's have a look here now. I can run my finger along this part and it feels very smooth. But I have just noticed at the top, if you can see these little green plants, these are very bumpy. So it's rough as well. Where do you think I need to put it if it's rough and smooth? It needs to go in the middle. So I'm going to put my plants in the middle of my two groups. And the last thing we've got is my conkers. Now, what do we think? Do we think it's going to be rough or smooth? If I run my finger over it, it's not flat. It's very spiky. So which group do you think it needs to go into? It needs to go into my rough group. So I'm going to pop that that side. Super. Now what I'll do is I'll take some pictures of the different groups and then I'll put them underneath the video on the website so you can see how I've sorted them so you can see how to do it at home. So in my smooth group, I'm going to count them now, I had my leaf and my acorn. How many natural resources have I got in this group? Shall we count them and check? One, two. I had two in my smooth group. Let's count my rough group. I had my stick and my conkers. How many have I got here? One, two, two in my rough group as well. And then I had my flowers, which were in the middle. So I had one in the middle. Super. If you'd like to pause the video now then and see if you can sort your items into rough and smooth groups. Lovely. Well, you should have sorted your items. Don't forget to take some pictures. We can see them on tapestry. This time, I'm going to sort my groups into three, sort my items into three different groups and see what we come up with this time. So what I thought I would choose to sort them into is the different colours that I could see. So I've picked three colours. I've picked brown, green and yellow. So I've now got three different colours I'm going to sort my items into and I'm going to put them all there so I can sort them into them. So can you help me do mine? And then you can have a go at doing yours. So let's see. Brown. Let's start with my stick. My stick is definitely brown, but can you see what colour we have here as well? We also have a little bit of green and underneath there is green as well. So it's brown and green. So where do you think I'm going to put it? Should I put it into the yellow group? I don't think it needs to go in there. I think it needs to go in the middle of my brown and green group. So I'm going to put that there. What about my leaf? What colour is my leaf? Is it brown, green or yellow? It's brown, well done. That's going to go into my brown group. My acorn, what do we think that the squirrels like to eat? Brown, green or yellow? Brown, well done. That's going to go in my brown group as well. What about these leaves? What colour are these? Brown, green or yellow? Green, super, they're going to go into my green group. And my conkers, very spiky, they're hard to hold. There we go. What do we think? What colour can you see? Brown, green or yellow? Green, well done, I'm going to put that into my green group. And my last thing are my flowers. What do we think about the flowers? What colour are they? Brown, green or yellow? Well, I can see yellow flowers on the top and green stems. So where should I put them? Should they go in the middle of brown and green or in the middle of green and yellow? They should go in the middle of green and yellow. So I'm going to put them just there. Now I'm going to count how many things I've got in each group and see if you can help me. So in my brown group, I have my leaf and my acorn. How many do I have? One, two, well done. In my green group on its own, I have my conquer. So how many have I got here? One, well done. And then in the middle of the groups, I had these. I had my flowers. Oh, I forgot something in my green group. I had this in my green group and it was hiding. I had a green leaf in my group. How many 
items did I have in my green group? One, two, two items in my green group. Can't forget the leaf. And then in the middle I had, in the middle of green and yellow, I had my flowers. And in the middle of brown and green, I had my stick. So how many did I have in the middle? One, two, well done, super. So if you want to pause the video now and you can write down some colours that your objects have and see if you can sort them and see which ones need to go into the middle or which ones just go in their own group and then take a picture. Lovely. So you've sorted your items into three different groups. Now I'm going to sort them into one more category. We're going to have two groups this time. I'm going to sort them into whether they came from the ground or whether they came off a tree. So where my items came from, the ground or the tree, I'm going to put ground that side and tree that side. So I'm going to do mine if you can help me and then you can have a go at sorting yours. So the ground, let's have a look or oh, the tree. Let's start my stick again. Where does the stick come from? Does it come from the ground or does it come from a tree? It comes from a tree, well done. So I'm going to pop that there. What about my flowers? Where do these come from, the ground or a tree? They come from the ground. So I'm going to pop them over on that side, onto that group. My acorns, where did these come from? Do they grow out of the ground or do they come off a tree? They come off a tree, well done. I did pick these off the ground, they'd fallen off the tree for the squirrels to eat, but they're from a tree, super. What about my leaf? What do we think? Does a leaf come from the ground or does it come from a tree? It comes from a tree, so I'm going to pop that into that group. And then my last item, it's my very spiky, conkers. What do we think? Do they come out of the ground or do they come from a tree? Well done, they come from a tree, don't they? Now these had fallen on the ground, but they were from a tree. So I'm going to pop that this side. Now I'm going to count and see how many I've got in each group. So from the ground, I had my flowers. So just my flowers, how many is that on its own? One item, one, my flowers. And then from a tree, I had my stick, my leaf, my acorn, and I had my conkers. So how many things have I got here? Should we count them? One, two, three, four. Four items came from a tree. Now, if you'd like to pause the video and you can sort your items into whether they came from the ground or from a tree, then you can do that now. Lovely. Well, fantastic work sorting your natural resources. What we're going to do now is just a little extension, if you like, because I picked up, I didn't just pick up one twig, I picked up quite a few different twigs, because I'm going to have a go at sorting all my resources into different ways to make numbers. So the number I thought I would make was a special number that we didn't find the number game, which was the number three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make three using three sticks. So I'm going to pop them there. I'm going to make number three by using three of my acorns. So we've got one, two, three. I'm going to make number three by using three of my brown leaves. Should we just check? One, two, three. And I'm going to make three by using three of my spiky conkers. So shall we check? One, two, how many more do I need? I need one more, well done. Three, three conkers. Do you think you can group your resources into groups of three? I'll let you pause the video and you can do that now. Super. Now what you can do now is you can sort your natural resources into any different ways that you want to, any different categories. So if you want to sort them by size, whether they're big or small, you can. If you want to sort them into different numbers, so different ways of making the number two or the number three or the number four, whichever number you would like. 
If you would like to sort them into different colours, into where they've come from, then you can do all of those things and see if you can think of different ways that you can sort them and then take lots of lovely pictures and videos for all of us to see on tapestry. That would be fantastic. So I hope you've had fun sorting your natural resources into different groups. Remember to take lots of pictures and I will see you tomorrow for your Thursday maths lesson. So I hope you stay well and I shall see you tomorrow. Bye.